In this video, I'm going to show you how to set permissions on a team site. And I'm starting out here on my team site homepage, and I'm going to go up to the settings wheel and pull down the menu and choose site permissions. Now, the call out on the right hand side shows me two things it allows me to invite new people, and it also shows me which groups exist and what permissions they have. So you can see here I've got a site owners group that has full control. This means they can do anything they like to the site. Then down here we have site members, which has edit. And this means that they can edit and add to the site, but they can't make general changes to the site, like change the look and feel. Finally, at the bottom here, we have site visitors. Now to keep things simple, we really only want to change site owners and site members. And to do that, we go to the invite people button and choose add members to a group. So what I'm going to do here is add a colleague called Rory to the site members group so he can edit and add documents to my site. So I'm going to choose add members to a group and then choose add members and type his name and it should pick it up for me. There's Rory, I choose him and then choose save. And you can see now Rory has been added to the list and I've got the option of either making him a member, an owner or removing him from the group. I'm happy that he's a member. So once I'm finished here, I just press X and X again. Now, if at any point I want to check who is a member, I can also go to this member section in the top right hand corner of my site, and that will give me the same list of people and what rights they have to the site. So in this video, I showed you how to set the permissions on a site. Thanks for watching and if you like these videos please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.